And I'll clap it up. As you can probably tell, I'm just stunned. I never thought Colorado could look this good. Ever. All right, we gotta make this quick because the Alabama game starts soon. You will see in the bottom right, uh, we got UCF in Colorado. And no, this game is not over, as you just saw. There is two minutes and some change to go. <sighs> There's a lot I gotta say. I don't wanna make this a super long video, but there is a lot I gotta say. Colorado quite literally opened up a can of whoop ASS. This is the best I've ever seen Colorado look. They look better than they did against TCU. This is the best. I'll go as far as saying this. This is the best I've ever seen Deion Sanders Colorado team look ever this year and last. And I know Colorado fans are going to run to the comments and say, Matt, I told you so. And guess what? You did. And I'm going to say it right now. As to where it stands, the season's not over. Don't get too crazy. But as to where it stands right now, I'm wrong. And I was wrong about this Colorado football team. And I owe the Colorado fan base and this Colorado team and players an apology. I said all year up until this point, this is not a real football team. This is not a serious football team. This is an AAU basketball team. That's all they are. They got a couple good players. You know the Spilio Dilio, but I'll say it again. They got a couple good players. The coach rolls the ball on the floor and tells them, hey, go make a play, son. That's what they are. Which should they're saying? There's Jimmy Horn Jr., Travis Hunter. But today, it wasn't the case. Now, don't get it twisted. Should they and Travis still did their thing? But what I saw with the blocking from the O line, the defense, and I'm going to talk about the defense because I've been. Giving them an extremely hard time since last year. I said they sucked. No, they don't suck. They don't. And I hope for Colorado's sake this isn't a one-hit wonder. But what I saw today is a great offense and a good defense. I'm even saying their defense is above average. They were good. And I'll clap it up. As you can probably tell, I'm just stunned. I never thought Colorado could look this good, ever. This looks like a good football team. Seriously, a good football team. The game's not over. I'm sure there'll be a couple other things, but it's, it's like 48-21. I'm not going to miss much, and what I say can still apply. I just can't get over the trenches. The blocking to the O-line, that was always why I never took them seriously. It, the skill positions, we know they got guys that can compete with the Bamas and Georges. Travis Hunter and Shadur is as good as they get, as good as they come. But the O-line, D-line, and that's why I never took them serious. But today, against the team, by the way, I'm going to remind some of y'all, UCF was a 15-point favorite. 15-point favorite. And Colorado's going to wind up winning by more than 20 points. So, that's crazy. I mean, it's like, what, a 35, 40-point swing? And, oh, yeah, by the way, I'm going to try to find this comment. I don't even got to look it up, but I remember what somebody said. Somebody, one of you Colorado fans commented on the last video saying, oh, yeah, Matt, hold on, no, 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 I got to find the comment or it's going to drive me crazy. I'll just pop it up in the video. It said something like, oh, yeah, Matt picked against in the Baylor game. You know how Colorado played Baylor last week? They literally said, Matt picked Baylor to win the game and Colorado won. How about that, Matt? It was something along those lines. And there was multiple comments like that. Do you not watch the channel or videos? You just straight up lied and made that up. I didn't even do a prediction video for the Colorado and Baylor game. There is no video of me predicting that game. I didn't tweet out that Baylor's going to win. As a matter of fact, I thought Colorado was going to win. I just didn't make a video. But that's neither here or there whether I thought it was going to win or lose. The point is, you got people just lying in the comments saying, oh yeah, Matt picked Baylor to win. How about that, Matt? I didn't even pick the game. You sound stupid. But anyways, I digress. And if you watch the channel, you know I didn't do a preview or prediction for Colorado Baylor. That's not the point of this video. The point is, I got to give credit where it's due. I'm beyond impressed with the offensive line. The running game, that's what I like to see. They're actually running the ball a little bit. I'm going to pull up the stats in just a second because I don't even know what they're sitting at. I'm not going to sit up here and rant and rave about the passing game because, I mean, you, you know, they can pass the football. Defense. 
that, especially that first drive stuck out to me where Shadur Sanders threw a pick. And I'm already assuming, oh yeah, Colorado's defense is trash. This is going to be an easy seven points for KJ Jefferson and UCF. They had the ball, I think, the 25-30. No, Colorado's defense gets a stop. KJ Jefferson throws a goal line fade, and Colorado picks it off. Good man-to-man -man coverage. And I was like, okay. And it wasn't Travis Hunter. It was a different guy. I can't remember his name. I was like, okay. They're coming to play, it looks like. And everybody came to play. There's so many good things you can say about this Colorado team today. And I'm going to miss out on some things. Now, UCF made a couple plays here and there. And maybe this is a combination of UCF played awful and Colorado played good. But I really don't want to make this, oh, well, UCF just ain't good type of video. No, no, no. I got to give my respects to Colorado, man. I underestimated them. And hopefully they can continue off this momentum. I mean, this is looking like a good team. And I'm going to continue to say it. They are now sitting at 4-1. and one. They're playing in one of the worst Power 4 conferences out there, or probably the worst. The Big 12 is awful. But that's not Colorado's fault. You can only play the teams on your schedule. And it's not even like they just barely skimmed by UCF here. They're blowing them out. If your biggest takeaway from this, there's no way. If you come away from this game saying, oh, yeah, well, UCF ain't good, that's just straight-up hater energy. And y'all can label me as a Colorado hater. I'm not a hater. I just call it things for how I see it. Colorado, yeah, they now got the backup in. Looks like the final score is going to be 48-21. Let's pull up the box score. I want to see how many rushing yards Colorado had. And I want to see how many rushing yards they allowed. So UCF still wound up winning the rushing battle, but Colorado, they did enough. They ran the ball for it. I'll just write it up here. Actually, let's go with Shadur stats first because really good outside of that one interception. Shadur on the day. He's as good as they get, guys. 20 for 35. You'll take that. 290 yards, three tutties to only one on T. We saw at the beginning of the game, but it didn't hurt him because the defense got a big stop. The big difference in this game let me confirm on this because I'm pretty sure I'm right. We're not even looking. Okay, yep. UCF. They moved the ball, but they had, we'll just write it up here. U, C, F, C, U, four to one. What does that four to one represent? UCF had four turnovers. Colorado only had one. And that's all there is to be said. And by the way, what about Will Shepard coming alive there? I think he was Colorado's leading receiver. He really impressed me. If Travis Hunter and Shadur can get some help, I'm not going to say this could be a dangerous team on a playoff scale because they're not a top 15 team. But maybe they could be a sneaky top 25 team. I don't know. You know, I don't want to overreact, but at the same time, I kind of want to give credit to Colorado for this. Just, mad. I mean, this was a butt whooping. This was a good old-fashioned butt whooping. That's enough of the whiteboard and... Guys, I really don't know what more to say. I mean, sometimes, you, if I can keep things short, simple, and sweet, that's what I like to do. I'd say we just chalked this up to Colorado had an outstanding performance, gave them a nice spanking, and on to the next one. Speaking of the next one, who they got next? Kind of curious. Kansas State, ooh, that'd be interesting. Yeah, we'll really be able to tell how good they are against Kansas State. Although I don't think Kansas State is some insanely talented team, that'd be a good judge because UCF, I didn't, although I did pick UCF to win, I picked them to win by three. I thought it was going to be close. I didn't feel like they were a, what's the word I'm looking for here? I guess what I'm trying to go with this is I didn't think UCF was going to be all that, even though I picked them to win. K-State, a little different story. And if they can win that one, sitting at five and one, watch out. There's many more things I could say, but congratulations, Colorado. They look good. And I'll say it again. I was wrong. You guys were right. I'm curious. Let me know your thoughts down below about that. Roman.